contest. Now, uh, <laughs> my next guest has been hailed as the most abrasive, outrageous and outspoken comedian to have come out of America since, uh, well, Dick Van Dyke. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bill Hicks. <laughs> You've brought your fans. Oh, I think they misheard me. I think it is Dick Van Dyke. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> great, do your Cockney accent. No, um... <laughs> <Are you remember? laughs> we love that American uh, Cockney accent that Dick Van Dyke. But uh, the th sorry, I'm interviewing you and I'm talking like yeah, that. I, I'm, I'm getting paid either way. <laughs> That's what you think. Now, the, uh... <laughs> no, you're an American comedian, so I've got to get you to do your airline jokes because that's what you always do. You always come over and do jokes about the flight. I over. always do. No, or... All American comedians do. It's like a sort of tradition here. I don't know. Well, you English have... guys always go over there and do that accent. So. <laughs> uh, I don't know, flying, you know, it sucks. Uh, let me get this straight. They don't allow smoking on airplanes, yeah. right? But they allow children. Yeah. <laughs> so, go figure. I'm a smoker, so I'm trying to quit flying. So. Yeah. <laughs> Going to fly stop. That's your sort of va your, your the vice that you've got left now, isn't it? Because you're 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 off drugs, you're off drink. You're off Not your... since this show. <laughs> <laughs> they all look pretty wholesome right now. Uh, yeah, I smoke a little bit, a little bit, about two lighters a day. <laughs> Is that a lot? Yeah, I think so. I I'm... lost count. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm keen on people carrying on smoking because uh, like, I don't smoke and I've never have done, and I, I'm basically unfit apart from that. So, if everybody stopped smoking, then I'd be the unfittest person in the world. <laughs> As it is, I know that you've got, you know, you're killing yourself with smoking. So it's. Um... Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> it's a happy thought, isn't it? So... Well, you know, you non-smokers are pretty. You know, some of the things. I was a New York City guy. Said to me, "Hey, man, quit smoking. You get your sense of smell back." What? Well, that's exactly what I'm looking for in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Is that urine? <laughs> I think I smell a dead guy. <laughs> hey, it's a dead guy covered in urine. Check this out. <laughs> hey, if I'd been smoking, I never would have found him. <laughs> anyway, you're over here doing your, your tour, Still Dangerous Tour, that's what you call it, Still Dangerous. Right. And that sort of builds up your image as you're like the dangerous person to follow after Lenny Bruce. Is that, is that difficult for you to, to keep being more outrageous or more dangerous, more... Challenging? No. <laughs> Lenny's dead. I'm, it's a one-man race now. <laughs> All right, Lenny, go to the bathroom. See you later. <laughs> but when he was doing... There was my ex. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, it could have been Dick Van Dyke sitting here, but... Uh, well, we knocked out the booking. Uh, but... Uh, the, uh, um, He'll probably get the check. <laughs> But Lenny Bruce could just come on whenever he was performing and just, like, mention oral sex or something. You practically have to do it. I have to do it, yeah. right. And it's, it's terrible. It's tough. Every night. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even feel like it. You know, but <laughs> the show must go on. But, <laughs> but he gets arrested and headlines and stuff, and you, you just have to carry on and think, oh, I've got to be more outrageous tomorrow night. Is there an upper limit to where you can get? Uh... <laughs> Yes, Clive, there's stuff beyond oral sex. <laughs> <laughs> not with me, there's not stuff. <laughs> now, you, you used to be in New York, or you came from somewhere, then you went to New York. Now, have you gone to Los Angeles? Yeah, now? I am from what's left of L.A., yeah. <laughs> I, since I left, there's been two earthquakes and the riot. Yeah. And I have an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you find yourself offending people with your... I mean, I know you're doing some television over here, and sometimes people get offended, especially if they see it on television. Does that worry you? No, I can't help what everyone thinks. But a lot of people, you know, their beliefs are just weird, you know? You've got to point it out. Like Christians wearing crosses around their necks. You think when Jesus comes back, he wants to see a cross? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like going up to Jackie Onassis with a rifle pendant on, you know? <laughs> Stinging at John, Jackie, we love him. <laughs> Maybe that's why Jesus hadn't come back yet. <laughs> Well, it's a theory. They're still wearing crosses. <laughs> now, nah. they're all wearing a fish, I'll drop down, all right? <laughs> well, what about guns in America? What is, what is the... Why do you have... What's, what's the thing with Americans and guns? Why are you always well, shooting each other? Well, it started... One guy had one. He started shooting people, and everyone else bought one. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. People are violent over there. And it's another thing where the death penalty, it amazes me that Christians are against the death penalty, you know? Because if it weren't for capital punishment, there'd be no Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Any earthquake? Yeah. How do you go down? <laughs> Mind that chair. It's, uh, yeah. it's cheap. How, how, do, how do you go down? How do you go? I know you're in Los Angeles and New York, you're fine, but do you ever go to sort of the, the more, I guess I call them Hicksville parts of America, but. Uh, like East Anglia? Yeah. Like East Anglia or. Right. or <laughs> Well, in America, though, I mean, do you, do you get any uh, fundamentalist Christians giving you yeah, trouble? Yeah, they, they, you know, I've had, I've had some, some weird occasions. They meet me after the show and start pushing me, you know. Hey, buddy, we're Christians. We don't like what you said. I said, well, then forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the obvious yes. way. Yeah, yeah. Once again. No, but, uh, do you, you came over to Britain last year. Did you find Britain... Uh, I found it. Yeah, and I'm back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You got any jokes about airlines or anything? <laughs> oh, there's this flight I'm yeah. taking in about 15 minutes. I think so, yes. Uh, you got some TV stuff you're doing over here. Well, you did have. <laughs> I think you're doing a special on Channel 4. I think we've had right. that and yeah, we're having it again. Is that right? Right, on Monday, yeah. yeah. That was filmed at Montreal where we met. Yeah. Yes, I did. You were the... Uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's somebody finding that interesting. It was uh, <laughs> had a, an odd place to go and meet an American beginning in Montreal. It was like halfway between Britain and America. <laughs> anyway, Bill, it's been... <laughs> I've got to stop you because... Because <laughs> <laughs> let's face it... <laughs> let's face it... Um, I'm not let's, leaving. Let's face it, we've run out. So, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Bill Hicks. <laughs> right, now... Um, we've got to... Hang on. Now, now you may... Um, We've, um, <laughs> we've got a rerun because you may have heard that the legal profession in England is trying to update the image of judges and barristers by getting rid of the traditional wig. And we've got a sneak preview now of the new headgear which they're going to be using to drag the law into the 20th uh, century. And uh, here it is. Um, <laughs> there it is. And that's the new <laughs> wig. So I don't know if you like that. But, okay, see you after the break. Bye. <laughs>